In today's video, I'll be looking at Mauricio Pochettino's first starting 11 used in a Premier League match against West Ham back in 2014. I will look at this team and discuss where those players currently are across the footballing landscape. Hugo Lloris was the starting goalkeeper for Pochettino's first game in charge of Spurs, and he is still contributing to be their starting keeper. This spot has not changed due to his proven top keeper ability. He is consistent and solid for his team, and makes sense that he still has the job after seven seasons. Kyle Naughton is a right back who was brought to Tottenham back in 2009 from Sheffield United. His Tottenham career would be mostly filled with loans and mediocrity. He would only play five matches throughout this season with Tottenham. However, he would get the start in match week one. Right now, he is playing with Swansea City in the championship. He would make the move to Swansea back in January 2015, and from there, he would be a regular at Swansea starting 11. At best, he is a decent championship right back but that is all his career could ever pan out to be. Yunus Kabul was the starting center back during Pochettino's first match at Spurs. However, similar to Naughton, the center back would not play much that season. He was past his better years at this point in his career, and he would not last much longer at Tottenham. The next summer, he would be sold off to Sunderland, and then later to Watford, where he would finish his career. He would retire from club football at 31 years of age, barely seeing playtime with Watford in the Premier League, and has been retired since. The summer Pochettino took charge, one of his signings would be sporting CP center half Eric Dyer. For his price, this would be a decent move. In Pochettino's first match, he would be the second starting center back. Ever since that transfer, he has been a decent player and has been a solid piece for Tottenham ever since. Currently, he is still contracted to Tottenham. However, with his bad form, it seems likely a move could happen this summer. Danny Rose has had an interesting career as a left back. In Pochettino's first match, he would be his starting left back, and over that season, he would play over 50% of the league matches. Over his Tottenham career, he has had moments where he was very good and really helped the team. However, recently, his career has fallen, and he is not that good anymore. He is currently contracted to Watford after signing for free this summer window, and will continue to get Premier League playtime. Before this West Ham match, Nabil Bentaleb was a Spurs Academy graduate. He would come into this team with loads of potential and ability about him, causing Pochettino to give him a starting spot in his first match. Ever since that season, his career has continued a downtrend. He would be sold to Schalke in 2017, and he would not have a good couple of years there. After barely appearing for a horrible Schalke side last season, he is currently out of contract, still in search of a new club at the age of 26. Etienne Capu would be Pacha's starting center midfield in his first game. He joined the Spurs side before Pochettino joined. His time at Tottenham would be quite disappointing, however. In his two seasons, he would only play in 12 matches each. Currently, Capu was sold last winter window to Villarreal, where he is currently playing decently and getting good playtime. Christian Eriksen has had the best career out of all the starting 11 from this team. He joined the summer before making a move from Ajax. When he got to Spurs, he was instantly one of, if not their best player. His first season under Poch would go very well for him, scoring 10 goals and assisting 2, and he would become a world-known attacking midfielder. He made a move to Inter in January of 2020, and from there, his career would have a slight downturn. He was average at best for Inter these past one and a half seasons. Now he was still at Inter. However, his career could be over after his cardiac arrest on the pitch during the Euros. He will have a lot to overcome to ever step on the pitch again. Eric Lamella was the starting right winger for Poch's first Spurs side, and he would be involved with the side and Spurs for a long time. That 2014-15 season, he would be one of their main starting wingers throughout. Over the next season, he would continue to be involved, mostly through sub-appearances, up until this summer. This summer, he would be involved in a swap deal between Sevilla and Spurs, where Brian Gill would be swapped for him. He is now contracted to Sevilla next year, where he hopes to be heavily involved in a Champions League campaign. Aaron Leno would start Poch's first match on the left wing. However, he would not last long in that position. He would barely appear on the team's side throughout the rest of 2014, causing him to be loaned out to Everton for the second half of the season, where next year he would officially transfer to. He would stay at Everton, then Burnley, then move to Turkish Super League side Kaya Sapor, where he would start almost every match over the season. Now he is out of contract with impatiently waiting for another club to take a chance on him, or he may seek out retirement from club football. Emmanuel Adebayor would be Pacha's starting striker in his first match of management. However, just like many others in the side, he would not start many. Throughout this season, he would have 13 appearances, and this would be his last season with Spurs, as he would move to Crystal Palace. From there, he would bounce around a couple of Turkish Super League clubs until 2020 where he would join Olympia, a club in Paraguay's first division. He would only play two club matches where COVID would strike and he would exit the club. He has not played a club football match since then, retirement looking very likely. Lewis Holtby 
would be Pacha's first sub in the West Ham match, and this would be Holtby's only appearance for Spurs the entire season. From there, he would fall out of favor at Spurs, causing some low moves to occur until he permanently joined Hamburger SV in the summer of 2015. From there, he would stay with the team until 2019, where he joined Blackburn on a free. Now this summer, he is out of contract, like many others in his side looking for another championship team to take in the 30-year-old center midfielder. Andres Townsend would be the second sub in Poch's first match, and for Poch this season, he would be an important bench piece. He would last at Spurs until the 2016 winter window, as Newcastle would purchase him, until they instantly sold him to Crystal Palace the next summer. He would last five seasons at Palace, where he would be one of their important players. His contract ran out this summer, so Everton decided to sign him as a backup option for Rafa Benitez this coming up season. Harry Kane would be Pacha's third sub in this match, and this season would be his breakout season. He would quickly take over Adebayor's starting striker role, and would start 28 matches, scoring 21 goals over the season. Ever since this season, he has been one of, if not the best striker in the Premier League, and is still currently contracted to Spurs, although Man City are keen to sign him soon.